going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel. I'm in my studio and I wanted to do a quick video talking to you guys about this kind of PewDiePie thing that's been going on all over the internet. Everybody's been talking about PewDiePie. Uh, a few days ago, Rich from Review Tech made a video, uh, and definitely check out Rich, he's, he's a good guy, about PewDiePie and these anti-Semitic videos that he came out with. And, Rich said in his initial video that PewDiePie deserved all the hate that he got. That there really wasn't an excuse to make these types of videos and hide these images within PewDiePie's videos. Today, Rich from Review Tech changed his tune and as he said, he had to eat crow and come out with this whole reason as to why it was completely fine for PewDiePie to make these types of videos. I actually have my own thoughts on this. I did watch PewDiePie's videos. I'm not a, a fan of PewDiePie. I think uh, it's not in my age demographic to really like PewDiePie's videos. But, you know, the guy has 53 million subscribers. He's partnered with the same partner that I am. So I'm a, I'm a maker partner as well, Disney. They write my checks, okay? And, you know, when I first heard this news, I was like, wow, something really horrible is going on with PewDiePie. And so I looked around. I actually made a really long video about this. It's about 15 minutes long. But after today, I'm going to just come to you face to face and get, hit you guys with some pretty interesting facts. And you can come up with your own conclusion as to whether or not PewDiePie really deserves the hate that he's got. And personally, I got to say that I do believe that he does deserve the hate that he's gotten. Now, Rich from Review Tech as well as the Red Dragon, who I believe actually influenced Rich from Review Tech. The Red Dragon's video came out, was very informative, and basically hit on the points and the notes that this is kind of an inside joke thing. This has been going on for a long time on PewDiePie's channel. The people who follow him understand these jokes, these anti-Semitic jokes, him dressing up as a Nazi officer, him having people hold up signs saying, kill all Jews, murder all Jews. Uh, that Hitler didn't do anything wrong, all this kind of stuff is all an inside joke. It's totally fine uh, if it's an inside joke. But I got a question. Is there anything above being funny? Is there anything that you really shouldn't joke about? Like me personally, I'm trying to think. Are there any jokes about slavery? I mean, any like sitcoms about slavery, about growing up as a slave? No, there aren't any. Are there any sitcoms or jokes about uh, what happened in Nazi Germany? No, I mean, I'm trying to think of the last time a TV show was a comedy about, you know, escaping Hitler. It's really something that people don't usually joke about because it has real-world gravity. These things actually happen to real people. People were actually killed in these situations, and people who walk around in America and around the world today are still influenced by what happened all those years ago in these global world changing events so for me there's certain things you joke about and certain things you don't but let's delve a little bit deeper into PewDiePie personally what he did now the Wall Street Journal is the one who actually broke this this news about PewDiePie and they actually went to Maker Studios in Disney and kind of revealed their expose uh, on what PewDiePie was doing and they found it back months ago up to I believe eight videos had anti-semitic imagery and you know content against Jewish people and kind of, you know, egging on the Nazi regime. And uh, Disney, yeah, they had to do what they had to do. They had to let him go. And I'm sure Disney didn't want to do that because he's a huge revenue stream for that company. But let me ask you a question. When is enough of a joke enough? I mean, if you do it one time, maybe do it like a, a Nazi joke once. Is that enough? If you do it two times, is that enough? If you do it six times, is that enough? At what point do you begin to see a trend? It's like, I'm sure you all have had a friend or a family member that lies all the time. And you catch them in a lie and the first thing they say is, I was just playing. <laughs> I was just playing. Look, I'm not lying, I was just joking. Those people, you know that the person is a liar and everything that comes out of their mouth, they're habitually a liar. and. It gets to the point where you don't believe anything they say, but every time they get caught up in a lie, they say, I was just playing. At what point does these videos actually have meaning? Is it always, it's just a joke? Is it, it seems like this whole anti-Semitic theme is something that's reoccurring here. It's not like he went, you know, to Hitler and then maybe went to another world genocidal 
uh, like Mao or something. He did. He stayed with Hitler. He stayed with against the Jews. And so it seems like this trend, or at least this consistency, has some type of ground, some type of meaning. And people say, well, he said in the same video to go subscribe to Keemstar, so he's just playing. Maybe he was. But Keemstar also said some really derogatory things against black people. He called, I've heard him on YouTube, seen a video of him calling some black person a nigger over and over again. Over and over again. So maybe they share similar views. But this is what I ask you guys, it's just fact and logic. When does a joke become the real thing? How many times do you have to see the same kind of uh, joke or the same kind of topic on a channel before you start to realize and put two, to two, two and two together that maybe this is in this person's head? He wasn't talking about slavery. He wasn't talking about you know, other peoples who have been, you know, the Palestinians, he wasn't talking about anything else. He was only talking about the Hitler regime and Jews over and over again throughout these eight videos that were found by Wall Street Journal. So my thing is this, obviously on some level, he went through a lot of work to create this content, hide it in his videos and do all this stuff. On some level, he identifies with these beliefs. He might not be an outward anti-Semite. He might just he might, you know, he, he has 53 million subscribers. There's tons of people who watch him. He can't come out and just, you know, throw his beliefs on the table like that. But if you have the balls to do that and you have 53 million people uh, subscribe to you, you got to put a lot of thought into a video before you do it for that many people. And I'm sure that before you put these videos out, he mulled over whether or not it was a good idea and sided with the, the possibility that it was a good idea. And you don't do those kind of videos unless you believe them. Certain things are not funny. I mean, someone could make videos about slavery and about murdering black people and they could do it over and over and over again. And guess what? I'm not going to think it's funny. I'm just not going to think it's funny. I'm a black person. Slavery happened to my, my great grandmother. OK, I, I, I grew up listening to the stories from my grandmother about what slavery was like. No, I'm not a slave, but it's a part of my history. So if someone makes jokes over and over and over again about that. And then they get caught up in it. And they say, oh man, it's just a joke. It's an inside joke. If it's an inside joke, I don't want to be on that inside. If that's the kind of humor that you're coming up with. And I know Jewish people who are great people, loving people, kind people, who wouldn't take kindly to someone saying, kill all Jews, or Hitler didn't do anything wrong, or you know, some of the other crazy stuff that this guy has been saying on YouTube. Ultimately, it probably won't matter at all for him. At this point, he's kind of like a, a planet it, all by himself. He has its own he has his own gravity. You know, people are going to stick to him because he has 53 million subscribers. But I believe that on some level, these ideals and things that he's identified in these videos, on some level, it might be a very small level, he identifies with. And I think it was wrong to put that out there for 53 million people some who are more than likely Jewish to see. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Did PewDiePie do nothing? Did he not do anything wrong? Or is it totally fine to joke about these things, genocidal catastrophes throughout our history? Is any is everything on, you know, is, is anything off limits? Can you just make jokes about anything, even people dying and people who are still affected by that today? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can share your videos and support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go. Let it go.